Hi all, yeah, just a quick video, just uh, showing you guys the um, Sinclair C5 uh, control box. So on this particular C5, um, there was like no lights um, on the pod. So what we did is we basically just um, took the pod, took the pod off, checked on a, on a, on a sort of known working C5, and the pod lit up as normal. So that was, that was cool. So what I have to do then is have a look at this. So what I did first of all on the C5 itself. Obviously, just um, took the, took the cover off whilst the unit was mounted to the C5. Just um, inspected, just sort of, you sort of move it over to one side there. Then you can basically just inspect all the plugs, fuse that sort of stuff. So I had a look around it, checked all the plugs were on fine, made made sure that things like um, the plugs went on here, the orange one and the sort of purple ones are all good. You know, the wires all attached properly. You know, had a look um, at the fuses, test them with voltmeter. Those are all good. So yeah. And basically realised everything sort of looked fine on this. So what I did is um, you then uh, take a, take a picture of it first of all, so you know exactly where the wires go on here. It's really obviously really really important. These ones are much more obvious. Our orange one goes here. Sort of purple based wires go here. Nothing on these ones. So you take these off very very carefully, not to pull the wires off. So you can use a flat headed screwdriver, and you can sort of, you know, get in and sort of lift it slightly, then pull it off nicely with your fingers. Um, obviously undo those and then um, undo the two screws um, here and here, take it inside, have a look at it. So what I then normally do is I then normally um, undo the screws here, one there, one there, one just there. So you can have a look at the back of the board. So then you basically just get it, get in there with a torch, you have a good look, good look around, see if anything looks like it's sort of visually burnt, anything obvious on it. Now the one we had is the fact that the um the pod lights weren't working so what i did is you know it can be a number of faults but generally speaking it can be the r1 which is just down there resistor one so you can have a look at that um but most sort of common fault for the, for that for that particular thing is normally the uh, ic one here just just there so this is this is a new one here as you can see i've sort of bolted it on here rather than really on, which is a standard so what you've got is when you when you plug this in, you know, um, to to a, to a C5 or to a sort of test loom, whatever you've got, um, negatives in the middle, then you should have, um, I think it was 12 volts this side and 5.6 volts that side, or or the other way around, but one or the other. I think it was 12 there and sort of 5.6, 6 volts here. And if that's not working, it could be this, or or you follow the circuit board from 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 underneath to see where this goes. And basically, it does go around to the R1. So R1 is really common. This is um, not as common at all. And then things like diodes are really common there. And there's two diodes. Um, one there. And uh, another, another one just down there. But when those go, those are usually obvious because normally they're just sort of fried. Um, so yeah, so basically all I did is I just, um, I did check the R1, I did did actually replace the R1 and it's still exactly the same and then I moved to the next part which is this uh, put, replaced that, plugged it into my test loom uh, which is basically just a C5 wire and then boom, the lights come on perfect so I'm going to wire this into the C5 now and um, then obviously just switch to C5 I'll make sure it works and then that should be it so yeah, so most of these components, I think actually all of these actually, all of this in here, you, you can still get off like eBay, etc. Um, and most of the things in the pod you can get as well. It obviously just requires some skill to, to fix it, but often you know, stuff just looks burnt and you replace it and it's fine. But in this instance here, nothing looked burnt or damaged. So it's just a case of, you know, che checking the R1, which is an easy thing and then sort of tracing it through the system and finding out what was potentially wrong, which was this in the end. Cool, hope that's of some sort of slight use to people. Nice one.